pray that I can stay there. I ain't scared of nothing. Your grandma stay there. You All right, so I was able to pick up my subs. Well, the motors that I'll be using for this build. Um, I've already cut one up um, because it was blown. That's why I was able to get them for the price I paid for them. Um, but the plan is to uh, cut up this other one. I'm going to do a little time lapse of me cutting it up. kind of sucks. Brand new. It's really a brand new sub. Um, fresh soft parts in it or whatever. But we've got to cut them up because we're building them into 15s, not 18s. But we'll be right back. So we're going to cut this sub up now. I wasn't able to get to the Allen bolts that are actually down here. And I was able to actually just pull the top hat off, but we're going to cut it up, take it apart. Okay, now I've got all the soft parts cut out. This is coil. You see that in there? And we're going to pull the basket and top assembly off of the bumper. So I'm just breaking them loose right now. We're just going to take these bolts out. So here's the two motors torn down. These are sundown spacers. We have the plates, as you can see. I wasn't able to get to those screws previously because of the basket style that was on there. But now I've got them off. The motors are ready to go and be built. I'm going to send these off to Directronics. Well, this is the coil that was in there. Pretty nice coil. Previous owner, this is what happened. Got a serious hole in there. I don't know what the hell they did. Um, basically... Um, doing, like I said, a street stock 500 to 1000 build. Um, and then I'll also be running Mecca. And then I think we're going to do a Yusaki class as well. But I just want to get these motors tore apart um, because I got to send the top plates off to Directronics. Like I said, uh, Dan is going to help me out with getting me some subs built. And I'm going to do two different styles. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, catch up. I can stay there. I ain't scared of nothing. Your grandma stay there. You don't.